why it's always about the big picture. Great or good. The CRM, they take this shit seriously. They have to. The world's future is at stake. Having other people trying to find out where they are, getting in the way of you seeing what we have to do to save it. I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you at the facility. You bet it's going to accomplish great things together. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to talk about CRM, their quest for the cure, and their conflicting ideology. Yeah guys, so World Beyond video. We haven't done one since season one ended. Um, we're super excited, season two and, their fi and the final season of this limited series is in production right now and filming, so. That's good um, news, guys. Yeah. I, I think that everyone is excited about that because guess what? I think that that gets us closer, hopefully, to some Rick. To more answers and yeah. to Rick. Yeah. yeah, guys. So, guys, back in uh, season one of the finale, World Beyond revealed and confirmed the reason CRM is so desperate to have to have hope. And that is not meaning hope for hope, the girl hope. Um, CRM has been testing humans in their quest of finding the cure, and they want the best and brightest minds to help them. Now, we saw Dr. Belshaw, the woman who we've seen doing experiments and also in the relationship with Dr. Bennett, was practicing a speech saying, every model shows that if we don't make progress in the next 30 years, human life will be gone from the planet. And this is why achieving this cure and this goal has really been important, especially for um, Elizabeth Kublik and why they created this elaborate plan of infiltrating a spy into the mix to pull out hope because she is apparently a genius yeah. and maybe the first title genius in this Walking Dead universe you know, to help them with when this. When you talk about it like that, it kind of does make a little sense. Mm -hmm. It's just they're doing it the wrong way. Oh my god. Uh, so, uh, just to sift through all that the whole the end game here is that we're finding a cure not for us but we're finding a cure to save our species but but are they because well this is how the, this is how we believe you, they want it to be you and i talked about this in yeah. a previous uh, uh video where we're like if you're not helping people then then are you really finding the cure for you Right. If you're not willing to bring people in and help people, yeah. they just want to close people off yes. except for the brightest and bring the brightest in. They kind of are trying to shape the future of how they see fit. Playing God. And anyone who doesn't fit that and their views are expendable. And we've seen this. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, have we seen it? We've seen it with Huck. Her whole mission was to get hope out of there and everyone else is expendable now she did the right thing by not killing everybody she could have but she wanted she, to break away mm, peacefully but she and do it the que the question is would she have but, if, if but, she was given the opportunity well, and given a choice between hope and those kids mm. She would have easily killed every one of them. Well, I, I do have to correct myself. She did kill one person. Yes. <laughs> and thought she killed another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it seemed like the ones that are closest to her, she didn't want to murder. You don't know that. I don't know that. You're true. I don't even know who Huck I mean, is yeah, anymore. I mean, <laughs> she could have easily killed him. I, I, you know, I, I'd, like, I'd like to think that Huck is going to have a redemption arc in this final season. For sure. That's one video we did do. Yeah. Uh, and I'd like to think that, you know, that is the reason why she didn't kill Felix or any of the others because yeah. she cared about them. But man. Yeah. She was pretty brutal. And the thing that we kept hearing over and over from Huck when she was talking with the group, and most importantly, when she was talking with Hope, she kept saying, everything that you're doing and everything that we're doing is for the greater good. And that's really all that we hear. Now we've heard from Elizabeth Kublik how they say they have they have water, they have ammunition, they have science, they have over 25,000 people, or I think 25,000 people or something like that. I can't remember the exact number, but 
this whole greater good thing, now we're getting into this conflicting ideology where we kind of already mentioned it, where what greater good have they really accomplished? Yeah. They are securing facilities. We've gotten hints of uh, different locations in Fear the Walking Dead. There's different sites that they secure. Stockpiles. That stockpiles. They're essentially stockpiles of supplies that they are carting out uh -huh. to bring to their communities. And yeah. you could make an argument. I think you can make an argument that we've made this in a previous video that they've done this from day one. Mm -hmm. Day one of the apocalypse, yeah. they were putting stuff on trains and shipping it to CRM, their main colony. Yeah, day one. Day one. Uh, and They're trying to control it. Yeah. They're trying to control every aspect of this cure. Um, you got to wonder, dude, are they government? There's there's probably factions of it. I, there. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely factions of it. Probably high up military. Oh yeah, with a lot of access. I can't wait, and and that and that's Ooh. the reason why I can't wait for season two. Are we going to get more information of yeah. the ranks? Oh, for sure. And who <laughs> and who this major general is, and where they are. Um, another aspect: they completely wiped out the campus colony of eight thousand women, children, men, and whatever else. Elizabeth Kublik told Huck at the end. Oh, about campus colony, she's like, oh, we got to talk about this. Like, and that's where you saw Huck's face. Like, wait, what? Yeah, they what wiped out that. They wiped out that community. Wiped it out. And, and, and why? From that moment on, you knew we were dealing with a different, oh, yeah. a, a different people. Yeah. Um, and a different force. Yeah. Uh, they became the villain the minute they did that. Yeah, for sure. Um, they killed the doctor that Doctor Belshaw was experimenting on. We saw that they were their friends. And he turned into maybe another A, we don't know. Kind of makes you wonder if they feel like you're not smart enough, they will kill you. And and test on you. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? Now, the girl's father is in trouble because the woman that he's dating, he told her to her face, I don't think CRM is <laughs> all that they're cracked out to be. <laughs> and she was, like, she was about to give this speech to him. And when he she said stopped, that, dude. she was like, oh, we were like, oh, dude, you're Fuck now, yeah. though. Like, <laughs> wow. You don't say that to someone that is willing to get a CRM tattoo on their body. Yeah. Somebody who's all in like that. They're but, in it to win it. But he's in love with her, apparently. But it, that's going to be crazy. Um, they tried to kill Felix's boyfriend, Will. Um, they, they, were, they, they took a hit swat out on him trying to murder his ass. Yep. I mean, dude, these people, and of course, holding Hope captive... To do their gene because of her genius knowledge. Now they're gonna they're gonna try to say we're they're gonna pepper up saying we're doing what we're supposed to do. And even Hope went willingly, but she, Hope knows what's going down. Let's go a step further. Uh, Isabel in Fear the Walking Dead ordered yeah. to shoot her partner dead. Yep, on the spot because if, he tried to defect. Because he tried to defect. I yeah. mean that is uh, you know that's that's dictatorship type of uh, oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Now, of course, Isabel, you know, when she met Al, she completely could have killed Al. She didn't. And I love the character of Isabel. I'm so glad we got to hear her voice in Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. Like, we were like, oh, we have to hear it, you know? We were kind of bummed that that wasn't uh, Elizabeth Kublik's daughter, but it's fine. But, I mean, we love oh, that now character. That, now that Huck is? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with I'm that. I'm perfectly fine with it, too. Yeah. It's, guys, I mean... It's an interesting concept because you can kind of think the same way about, we'll go back to kind of Negan, you know, Negan and the Saviors, Negan's whole point of view was they're trying to save people, but they are also brutal on the back end. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill you. Well, yeah, a, you know, but, but also the way that they lived was quite different. Very different. Here's yeah. Negan willing to save people and help people, but help people you, yeah. are lower than there's ranks to yeah. his, you a know, a class system. He, he was not doing it right. Yeah. But the thing about Negan is he sits there and he sees Rick and how Rick built this world. Yeah. Well, at least the source material. Right. Um, <laughs> and it changes him. It does. Um, it just seems like... There's no, whoever is in CRM, you're not changing anything. Like there no. are, th there are authorities in CRM that they have this ideology going back to this ideology that they've developed and it is word. It is what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that's the thing though. I mean, it's like you're, I mean, communications is lost across the world. Now CRM has their own communication uh, line. That's great. They're spread out across the country in many different locations that we still don't know of, but the cool map that we got from the two 
uh, from our new friends showed they have stockpiles all over the country. And they have this research facility, which we're assuming is where Dr. Bennett is and Dr. Uh, Belshaw are, and that's where they're taking hope. And maybe that's where Rick Grimes is, we don't know. But, I mean, it, it's not like here, you know, with distributing COVID vaccines to the world, CRM's not going to do that. <laughs> no. CRM's not going to distribute vaccines all over the place. I mean, yeah. I don't even think they would distribute it to Portland. No, I mean, so uh, I think that I, I <laughs> or th Omaha. I, I think if if my opinion of CRM related to the rest of the world is if they feel like they you're getting strong, they will wipe you out. And who knows? You know, when we saw that kind of scene with Dr. Belshaw, all those people being experimented on. Imagine if the majority of those people all bees. Or were scientists that they were helping out and they they couldn't crack the code. They were like, all right, you're done, you're expendable, get someone else in here who's smarter. You know, yeah. do IQ tests, whatever they do. And they're just experimenting on them to see what they can do. And um God, I mean I, it's it's brutal. Do you think we'll find out how close they are? What? To a cure. In this limited series, uh, it depends on how much we get now from CRM and Hope. Like how yeah. many scenes we get? Are we don't know the layout of the second season? Like, are yeah. they going to be CRM focused? Are we going to be spending most of our viewership time in CRM? Right. If we do, man, oh, I'm you're going to be eagle eye on every single thing in every episode. And guys, again, it's it's ten episodes. It's a ten episode, two season limited series. You know what's, what's going to happen is you're going to cut. You're going to cut from CRM, then you're going to cut to Felix and Iris and the group coming yeah, after them, going after them. Yeah. I do hope we get more, and I'm sure they will. And I know they want to leave some for Rick because we're trying to figure out, okay, in this timeline, it's 10 years past, right? Okay. So in the Rick movies, if they're going to, if they're, if they are going to finally get three, the first movie is not going to be in the 10 year timeline. It's going to be in the six, the, the timeline before the six year time jump. So it's going to be Rick after he disappeared. And then leading up to getting to current timeline. So yeah. I wonder if they're going to structure the end of season two of this to kind of help. And I've heard from, uh, I think I heard from the actor who played Felix that the end of World Beyond does kind of lead into the Rick movies. It has to. It ha Exactly. It has to. It absolutely has to. Um, the, second, the second or third movie. Who knows? It leads in somehow. So they can't. I don't think they're going to give too much away because they want you to watch the Rick. I the completely Rick agree. Trilogy, you know? I, 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 honestly, guys, we may not hear anything about Rick until that final episode, that final scene. We might not even get anything until the final scene. People are hoping that too. Yeah. yeah. They don't even have to. I mean, we would love to have Andrew Lincoln come back for a scene, but I, I actually, but in my mind right now, I don't want to see Rick right now. But I, we, we could do a separate video on this, but yeah, yeah. isn't there rumors he's coming back for season 11? Oh, that's been around for a while, but yeah. it's still rumored. I doubt it. They could. Yeah. Because, I mean, the season 11 is, is in the new timeline. So we've said this before. Like, we would love the end of season 11 to be Rick walking up to the gates of Alexandria. The gates open. People rush in. He sees everybody. Dude. And the gates close. And it's done. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. But yeah, are they going to bring back Michonne? <laughs> You know, maybe it, maybe it's Michonne. both. Maybe it's both of them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. maybe Michonne. Because look, they could do that. They could fast forward to that scene, yeah. but still give us the movie of how Michonne and Rick got but got there. Or Michonne goes after Rick, finds him, and they both come yep. to Alexandria, and then he sees Judith, and it's just close the door. Or you could even do it where Michonne absolutely think Rick's dead. She gives up on her journey, and, and go, comes back. And comes back, and then yeah. Rick comes back. Yeah. Dude, I, I just love it. I, we, I we love it. We get I, on tangents because we talk about. Cause, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, CRM is Rick Grimes now, basically. Yeah. I mean, you gotta mold them in together. So but, I just, yeah. I can't wait, guys. I wish I could fast forward two or three years and just get this over with. Because <laughs> not get it over with. I know like, what you're saying. I want to know. I, I want Rick back. We want to know. I exactly. want Rick back. Yeah. So, guys, all in all, CRM. They are going to do whatever they can to find this cure. They're not going to distribute it out. They're going to try to control it and wield it to their own will of destruction and mayhem, whatever they want to do. Are they going to make super soldiers? I don't know what they want to do. Like, I mean, but I've said this before. What's the end game? 
Exactly. What is the end game? Okay, let's say you come up with a cure. Let's say you give all of your 25,000, your tight knit CRM, mm -hmm. all the shot. Let's say it's a shot, okay? <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to go out, live your normal life out in the world now and just kill everyone that can't get it? Yeah. That's what happened. And now you're the elite, maybe? <laughs> Civil War against the Commonwealth. They got 50,000. <laughs> Dude, I get that. That is happening. Or Michonne's community. We don't know how that many That is happening. Maybe that's 20,000. Commonwealth, this is my prediction now. Commonwealth will seem like a villain. Mm -hmm. Our group will turn that place around. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen. They will take over that place. They will turn it around. And then you will see a good versus evil yeah. war with CRM. And this will be the true all-out war. <laughs> For the cure. It's going to be those black suited military people against our stormtrooper looking mother curse, mother truck. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give the video a click, click, quick like, excuse me. Um, share the video and subscribe. Hit that bell and stay tuned. We want Rick Grimes back, baby. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're an Aquanation. We're out. Right.